all right welcome back so in this video for a very um, small amount of time we are going to focus on deleting comments because um, that is something that will not require us to do a lot of effort it will just require us to actually copy and paste the previous code and make just a couple of changes right yeah and after that what we are going to focus on is starting to add user associations with blogs and comments so what that, that basically means is we will be adding um, owners of a blog or owners of a comment and we will be printing their names out on the page and the update and delete functionalities will be allowed only to the owners right so that's something that we're going to start and let's let's just do that so um, i have all the previous files open here i'll just i'll let it be this one be for now right and great and i can close this one excellent but i'll not close that one just a second yeah so um what we're basically going to do first is we're going to make the comments delete route right and for that i'm going to just copy this thing right here. copy this and i'll paste this in after this okay so um um router dot delete slash blogs slash id and the thing is that we can just name this slash comments slash id and because like the we have to delete the comment not the blogs and we can leave it like this for now and slash comment slash id will be the url that we will be submitting to and what we'll do inside this is instead of blog dot find by id and delete I'll do comment dot side by end, right? And I'll do error and blah blah blah. If error console dot log error, great. If and we have to return to this, excellent. And if it's not an error, then we have to return to um. Okay, so if there's an error, let's return to just this. And if there's no error, let's return to. And I do plus rec dot. Okay, so we'll need the ID, right? So we'll actually need this to be blogs slash ID slash comments, and we'll need to name this something else. So I'll do comment ID, right? So the reason is that we have to redirect back to this blog, so we'll actually need this ID in here, right? So we cannot just do this ID here. We'll have to do comment ID, right? So now we are finding a comment which we are passing in the reg.params.id and then we are um, redirecting to blogs if we get an error and we are redirecting to the show page of the blog if there is no error. Right? Great. So um, now this is basically the delete route for the comment. There's, there was nothing to change in this from the blogs and hence I said that become really easy. Right? And I'll put the comments in here too. There are no comments in this file. Create route and this will be new route. Excellent. So now our delete route has been made for the comments and all that we need to do is basically inside the show.ejs file, we have um, Where are the comments, right? Here they are, right? So here are the comments that we have. And for each comment, basically, currently we are just doing the author and the content. So after this, we could also put a form saying um, action and method will leave. And it will just say, it will have a button, which will be a btn dot btn danger and we'll let it be a btn small right and then we are going to do um, delete we'll just, just say delete because this will show up as a comment so that will be evident you'll see what i'm talking about so let's go here this is the show page let's refresh and you see we get a delete button with each of the comments right so that's working really really great and this looks good too and it's great right Excellent. Or we could like also have a delete icon here. So 
let's do that or let's use bootstrap icons even the font awesome is really good but i'm sure this basic icon will be in bootstrap too so i don't want to in increase the loading time of the page by importing another cdn right so what i'll do is i'll go to get started oh sorry i'll go to icons right and we can search here i'll do delete here's the trash thing right so we can select this this one great so this is all that we have to put in there for that i'll copy this right and inside the button instead of this delete i'll paste this in and now i'll refresh this page and i see i have a small trash button here which i can click to delete the comment right and it looks really really great excellent so um now this is a good enough thing and all we need to do is link this to the back end and for that we'll have to do slash blogs slash so currently we'll have to do um, blog dot underscore id right if you remember the url is blogs slash id slash comments slash now we have to do the comment id so for that we'll have um, comment dot underscore id and that will be basically it right except if we do the method here it will be post right and now as the method is post and we are expecting a delete request for the routes we'll have to use method override right so i'll do underscore method is equal to delete so this should basically now delete a comment in our page let's refresh it looks the same but i can just delete this because the add comment thing is definitely tested and you can see the comment gets deleted and even if i refresh the page it is no longer there so comment delete is also working fine now and these are basically the crud procedures that we have implemented completely now we could also have an edit comment here but like i said in the last video that's something that if you want to do properly will require a lot of things and you know i would I could cover everything that I'm saying that could cover a lot of things, right? There are, uh, there is a list of things that I would have liked to cover. But the thing is that the time we have currently is limited that and we, I cannot continue to keep doing this course for like, I don't know, 60 days or 70 days. That, that would not be very feasible. So the thing is, I'm just teaching you the basics of everything and I'm getting you a site made, which is good enough that you can sh put it in your resume that you can show people that right i made this site right but what i highly recommend is that you also st try to add some features by yourself in blogify once we have finished our own thing i also did a similar thing in my course also we had built a site with the course which i did right and i had i had added a lot of features by myself once the course ended right i googled a lot I added features and it, it became much different from what it was by the end of the course, right? So um, I'd recommend that you do that too. So, but currently we're not going to add the edit comment feature in here, right? What you can do is you can click on delete, you can add a new comment and that will work. Great. So now our CRUD procedures are done and that's really good, except our user authentication has not been done yet inside of this, right? So, first of all, um, I want to do something which is I want to delete all the blogs and comments. And why is that? Because if we want to add a user functionality to all of these, we'll have to add an author to all the blogs and an author to all the comments. So, we will um, essentially be modifying our schemas, right? And so, where is the schema? So here is the models and inside the blog.js we would be adding a new field which will be the author right so i'll do author and it will be an object so it the type will be um, mongoose.schema.types.objectid like this one right here right we will be referring to the user schema and the ref will be user um we'll we'll understand the syntax really well right now if you don't know this the only reason that I've written this really quick right now is that I'm showing you that a new field will be added inside the blog schema. 
and the thing is that the existing blocks that we have do not have this current field made so either we could go into and date our database and add this field to all of them separately or we could just simply delete them and add new blocks because we are just in the testing phase right now right we are not in production that we are deleting somebody else's comments or that would actually matter right so what i can do is i can do mongo here it opens up i can do show dbs i can do use blogify i can do show collections i can do db dot blogs dot delete many and i'll just pass an empty thing so two blogs were there two have been deleted and now just let's do db dot blogs dot find nothing's there so i'll do a similar thing for the comments so seven comments have been deleted let's do db dot comments dot find nothing is there so now let's go here and let's refresh and we see we have no blogs here currently right so um, now we can start doing our things and first thing we are going to add the author to our blog and i written the syntax really quickly so i'll explain this again so what's happening here is we are adding a basically an author to a blog and we could add this as a type of string and we could just save the name of the author but what we are going to do is we are going to make it a type of mongoose.schema.object id so basically we will have the id of the user who is the author of this inside this particular object right and ref user basically means that we are referring to an user id right so this is what we are going to add in our schema and um, now the next thing we can do is we can modify um, the routes where are actually the blog is being created right so that will be um, so what we're going to do is we're going to do which we're going to change everything inside this routes file basically right because if you think about it we do not want the user to actually um, enter his own user id that does not make any sense what we want to happen is when the user submits the author should be saved by default right so for that we'll have to go in the create route and instead of just passing this reg dot body we'll have to add a new field to this new post so we can also do this you can do new post dot author is equal to current user dot underscore id if you remember current user we had set up to be this um, if we go to that so res dot local dot current user basically contains the details of the currently logged in user right and his id we are storing in the author in the new host and then we are passing that in the blog dot create so now whenever a blog is created um an author should already be present inside of it and we can see the is logged in middleware is already added here so the current user will already exist at all points of time right so let's check that if it's working i'll do that i'll click on add post it takes me to login i'll do john do and there was an error because i clicked enter without entering the password so i'll enter password here and do login so now it lets me go to add post right i can add the title of the post test author content will be i'll just do the first few words which i remember right image url um i let's go to and splash let's just take nature let's take this copy image address paste add post current user is not defined let's just use red dot user I'll copy this. I refresh the page. It tells me to log in again because it was refreshed. So I'll do John do password add post test some weird thing here paste add post and you can see it has been it has been added and how do we test if the author has been added? simply we go to mongo and we check it right 
So show collections. So I'll do db.blogs.find. And you can see the author has a valid object ID in here, which was added, right? So what we can do now is we can go to the show.ejs for the blogs. And below everything, um, above the comment, right? So in here, in here, right? I'll add another HR first off. And in between these two HRs, I'll do um, by and let's uh, currently let's just write blog dot author. We'll have to change this a little. Let's refresh. Let's go to read more. And it says by this, which is basically the object ID of the author. So um, this is not what we want. We do not want to print the object ID, right? And for that, we'll have to make another change. So inside the show route, we are populating the comments. We'll also populate the comment uh, users, right? Author, right, sorry. And you see now it has um, a really valid kind of JSON syntax. And what we can do is we can simply print out his username, right? All right. And now inside the show.ejs, instead of blog.author, I'll do blog.user.username. Refresh. By John Doe, right? Excellent. So this is what we were aiming for. And we could now add the authentication functionalities later. So now let's focus on adding the same thing in the comments too, right? So um, basically um, all the change that we need to make currently is that inside the comments.js routes, here they are. I'll have to do, um, when I'm creating a comment, then instead of just parting, passing rec.body, I'll also like do rec.body.author is equal to rec dot user dot underscore id right and this will pass but of course this will not work yet and that is because the model does not have okay so the model does have does have the author great so um, author is rec dot user dot underscore id right excellent and now that i've seen this i realize that we need to change the new dot css right new dot um, ejs so inside the comments, if we go to the new.ejs, we see we're actually taking the author name from here, which we should not do, right? We should let it be like this. And now um, this should work really fine. And now let's refresh. Let's go to add a comment. It takes us to login. I'll go to John Doe 1. Password. Oh, I entered the password wrong. John Doe 1 password login I'll go to read more add a comment and comment will be love the site I'll do add comment and you can see currently this is being displayed here means our author is actually being added but the author dot name is not working here because we have taken author as a string so now let's change that thing a little right so all right so now what we have to do is inside the models here they are i have to go to command.js and instead of author string i'll have to do type mongoose dot schema dot types dot object type and i'll do ref user and this works so so we don't have any changes in the new.ejs now we can close that we don't have we will have in some changes in the show.ejs we should keep that in don't have anything in this and don't have anything in this great 
so now um, when we are making the comment or when we are showing the page right let's do the show route and actually we are not like we don't like have a show route for the comments so um, populate will not be possible right so what we can do is we can keep the id for the user profile if we ever want it and currently we can just do author name right and that will be a string and there's no ref of course there's required true and we should like have a similar syntax in the comments too. right so um now this should work and the only thing that we need to change is that in First of all, inside the routes when we are creating, we also need to set the rec dot body dot author. So this is because we want to access the name directly, right? And then like doing that by finding the author from the rec dot user dot id inside the ejs file, a lot of effort. So what we can basically do is we can we can just save the name separately, and I'll do rec dot user dot username and instead of author here we'll do author name now let's refresh the page and let's see what's going wrong here so the thing is that currently this comment was made before we made the change so we'll have to do this again so i'll do john do one password will be password I'll go to read more. I'll add a comment saying love the site. I'll add comment. And you can see my name is put up here. And if I log in with some other ID, then my name would be put up here again. Right? So this way we have now added our user connecting functionality to the blogs as well as the comments. Right? And what we can do after this is we can actually add the authentication thing which we'll do in the next video. So that's all for this one. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.